More fucking lighter is. How about that? Cheers. We are live. Uh, Psychonauts TV over here. We got Tanazi that way right there. And that's Big Dog Tanazi, Sacred Three Mushrooms, Tanazi Gardens V1 or 2 on IG. V2 right now. V2. They haven't taken this one. So. Hell yeah. Two whams. Uh, we might have a guest pop on if she's able to come on. If not, no biggie. Me and Tanazi here rocking it. Uh, always big ups to Tanazi for holding it down. He was over there at the Psychedelic Conference uh, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. Uh, got to meet a lot of amazing people. Uh, what's been yeah, going on yeah, since yeah. then, Tanazi? Staying busy, son. Trying to stay on top of it and keep up with uh, the orders, bro. We got genetics, genetics, genetics is taking off. That seems to be the hot cakes, right? Everybody wants to grow their own species, their own varieties. And it's looking like people are really trying to, to come up with their own these days. Like every time I right. look, I'm seeing a new post of a new somebody. Oh, look what I did. Ooh, look what I did. You know? So. Right. You see something new every day. And it's just, uh, let's get some potency testing, right? That's what we need to do. Because that's what, what we're breeding for. We're breeding potency for potency. uniformity, right? I believe. I mean, that's so I, I would, big of it. My, my biggest nice thing. Nice, even canopy flushes every rip. You know what I mean? My thing is, I guess, is uh, potencies. That's what I want. That's, I don't care what, what it is or big flushes, little flushes. I mean, yeah, get it flush, right? But I think potencies is the best right now. Because, man, you don't want to eat fucking 20 grams when you can get something potent. You can grow something that's double the potency of that and get it off on 10. Yeah, absolutely. Even, I mean, if you're looking for that, some people don't even look for that. They don't need therapy or anything. It's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> or are they? <laughs> uh, they're, uh, they're, they're broken wheels. They don't know they're about to fall off. They're special. Well, I had a uh, <laughs> heat stroke today, passed out, throwing up. That was fun. About cut my finger off. That was fun. Just a busy so, day over here. DNDP. Uh, yeah. You gotta drink water, baby. You gotta yeah, drink those electrolytes. Good stuff. Um, they had this. Uh, it was a salt packet about this big. Are you sure it was salt? Basically, pretty much just straight salt. And then when you were having a heat cat, like a casualty, or being a heat stroke, and like having like get about to get super fucked up, where you have to go get an IV and a medical bag or some shit, you would take your bottle of water and you're supposed to dump that entire salt packet in this water and shake it and pretty much chug it like get it down and well, dude, yeah, it was like yeah wow. it's like to wow. save you before before wow. it got too bad to the point where you're going your ass is being How taken to medical down? as soon as that water even thought about touching my lips i was throwing up you're probably past point you, you, okay. you're you already past that point yeah there's like a levels yeah and when you're past that point bro yeah you just you're down. I, I you stripped drop. down. I, I stripped down after I kind of got up, and you know what I mean. And I stripped down, got on the wood floor, put a fan over me, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For twenty minutes before I could even move. Yep. So when you dropped, so in the army, doing all any training, you're someone has a cooler that's full of nothing but ice water and sheets. I think there's about three or four fucking full size sheets to a bed in there. And then if someone like you're saying you fell down, like you fall down, like heat cat, they're going to take everybody, they're going to rip that cooler open, they're going to put a blanket under each armpit, they're going to put a fucking blanket on your dick and wrap you in a blanket and try to like cool you down that way real quick, like, and then get and then that salt water bottle will probably be shoved in your fucking face and you'll be sipping on that. Someone in medical come over, probably give you an IV. An IV I, uh, I had the opposite happen when I was in Alaska. Um, I uh, got hypothermia and they had to heat up water bottles, Nalgene bottles with hot water. And, Were you in water? Yeah, well, yeah. So I was I was backpacking and it was a super hot day and we went up over this big pass and of course a micro fucking climate came through and it started fucking hailing, sleeting, you know, and I still got my shorts on and shit like that. So I'm like, whatever, we're almost there. I got it. So we're walking and then we got to go we got across this big ass fucking river 
Yeah, I just got too cold when we crossed it. And by the time we got to camp, they found me trying to tie my tent together and I couldn't. And I'm sitting there mumbling and incoherently and shit. So they're like, fuck. So they threw a tent together real quick, got a sleeping bag and got uh, uh, the fire going, boiled some water, threw it in algae, threw them in the sleeping bag with me. And yeah, that was pretty, pretty got bad. cold. Yeah, That's when you're like, you could, could you move your arms, like your extremities? Or they like seize I don't up, remember like, much of it. Curl. This is no? what people who just kind of told me. I was just so, they no, said, right. like, I was just a bit, 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 bit. couldn't tie a knot, try to get my tent together and shit. It's amazing how we've lived this long on earth. We've got to this population, bro. Life's tough out there, dude. <laughs> you're already telling me, man. It's like, I'll watch a cat do a stupid ass thing and end up getting hit by a car or something, right? I'm like, God damn, man. You know, it's just life, right? Like, right. We want to move, it could be our last. Well, so, what's new in the mushrooms up there? You got uh, mushrooms. You got mushrooms popping probably all around you. Everywhere, bro. I've been, it's, it's crazy. There's like four or five different Amanita species alone. So I found a bunch of Amanita muscarias. I found uh, the white ones, the green ones. Um, they have this uh, North American destroying angel up here. It's one of the three deadly white mushrooms. Uh, they got ghost caps. They got fucking, I found the uh, red trumpets, the little chanterelle style. Uh, those are edibles. I found the uh, milky or the weeping milk caps i found man it's just it sounds scary it sounds yeah, scary dude. they're fucking gnarly and those are edible too that's the cool part about it but it looks like it's like just oozing death you know what i mean it's just like a white milky fucking substance i'm like that just doesn't look fucking safe but. yeah i'm gonna stick the cube to uh the cubensis bro so <laughs> i want to know if what kind of areas should I be inoculating in the wild for diversity? Uh, in the wild, <laughs> I'd say you're most likely going to do beds of your own, make a little spot. <laughs> only wood ones chips? I could think in the, yeah, the wood chips one, only ones I could think of is going to be like the Panelia cyans. Or you're some type of uh, Slosopy Azarescence, the Azarsens, Azarsans. <clears throat> Those ones are, that's what they say is most potent, right? Right now, I have Texas <clears throat> Those are caps, Jedi Mindfuck, and what? Lobster Bush. <clears throat> what is he saying? But I See, do have more... inoculated grains, those, the, the bags that I still have. Mm hmm. Of the ghost and the, uh, <laughs> Those are more of your uh, field mushrooms, whether you're going to find in livestock, right? Is those uh, the Cubensis varieties? So then I, need to find I don't. Dunk I've seen. Areas. I've seen some in the mountains growing out of cow pies that are very tiny, azurescent looking ones. But I'd say you're going to you would inoculate with Panelia cyans. Or you would make, <coughs> excuse me, you would make a bed in the wood line somewhere by just digging out the earth a little bit, maybe four inches. Probably wouldn't even have to do that in somewhere like you're talking about. It might actually get too much. You lost yourself. Yeah, I'm back. You lost yourself. It moved. The wire moved. <laughs> it's all good. I can't hear you, but uh so well, all right we're back there yeah. we go so when i inoculated that barley mulch i thought that was what spawned that mushroom when i did went outside okay. but when i looked it was still attached to a piece of fucking uh grain no not grain uh the substrate that I broke it up and put in there and stuff like that you know what uh -huh, i mean uh -huh. so it was growing up out of a chunk of that and it just that was nice, though. That was a pleasant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would probably play around with some uh, Panelia cyans or some azurescence in some little areas. That way, you just basically decay wood, like a stump or mulch that's decaying, 
on the wood line with some leaves over top, all just blended together. You know how you would find it in the forest. Oh, hold on. We got Collective Mary Jane in the house. Cheers to him. He get, he hooked me up with uh, some golden teachers that he started when we started this show. Uh, nar, nar. He, he wanted to do them. Then he heard about the show. He's like, oh, shit, I'm just going to wait and do them with them. So he actually hooked me up with some. They're in the room over there. Uh, appreciate him. I got a shirt right here. Boom, boom. It glows in the dark. That's super dope. So, oh, yeah. Uh, Shiitake Log love doing beds for wine caps and cubes. So beds, what do you mean? You making a bed? Like, what's happening? So, mm -hmm. all right, here's another thing then, Tanazi. So, a guy that goes by formerly Gus on IG does a, what he calls a Gus tech. He's going to take a couple of uh, Uncle Ben bags or any other inoculated bag that's already inoculated. And when he transplants into a bigger pot, he puts those in with his medium and he gets flushes. So can with I some mimic ganges? that outside? Yeah. Thinking. I've dumped uh, my psyllium of like, oh man. See, I've only done this a few times outdoors. So I know a lot of shit's possible. Shit you don't even think will happen. I've grown pink oysters around the tomato plants before. Just dumping old substrates out there in cakes or greens. Um, I kind of like what James is saying with the beds because that dude in Florida, he has a compost bed is what it looks like. It looks like a raised flower bed <clears throat> that's mm -hmm. compost. Now, what's he throwing in it? I don't necessarily know for a compost, but he took his, it looked like he just put one grain jar. It was, had a, showed a little bit of contamination, so he tossed it out there in the compost, like I said, see what happens. He's been harvesting mushrooms ever since. This is like back in February. It's continuing to produce. Huh. And I have, I have to look through some emails to, he's in chat sometimes, I do believe. I do not know the name. I'd have to look through the emails. But if you're in chat, holler out. So I'd like to know what is in the compost because you have it going on. Mm -hmm, wine caps, shiitakes. I could do this. It's not showing contam, but I could probably go throw this one out there. It's been going for a while. Slowing down. This one's starting to bruise inside. Oh yeah. Ready? How much overdue. is drink, bro? That thing needs to be I all know. Right here. Eating it up. It's ready, ready. It's ready, ready. It would probably be cool to see an outdoor bed of those with some compost, perhaps. We got them, so. Or manure, if you have manure nearby. A couple of shovel spoons or shovel fools all you need. Should I, oh, bro, we got cows everywhere. I'll go, oh. I'll go down the street and let him get some cow shit. He'd be like, you're yeah, okay. There you go. All you yeah, need is that. Now that I think about it, let's do it. If you took a spot in the shade under a tree somewhere, you know, you're going to layer it back and forth. You're going to put some. You don't even have to pasteurize this at all. You just take it straight from the pet field, straw, no pasteurization or pasteurization needed. You're going to do just manure, grain, straw, manure, grain, straw. Just kind of make a layered cake. And just blend it all together. Let it keep stay wet from, I'm assuming, you get enough moisture. You won't even have to water this thing, is what I would imagine. Uh, well, Healthy Green said, sent you a detailed message on IG with first run question yeah yeah i should be able to clear all out all the igs tomorrow it was a big uh, it, order she gets out of hand quick it was a big order day to day and emails get backed up sometimes but igs get really back up it, because like yeah, you'll, real you'll click up. on it when it says 12 new messages or whatever and not read them all and then uh, and then it, i don't know dude i get shit lost so easy <laughs> Like I fucking messaged you, you didn't answer. What? <laughs> Grow guy. 
Georgia. Georgia grow guy. I would do that with some uh, get some morels and blend like slurry them up, blend, crush them up, and put them in a bucket of water. Make a slurry. Put them in your sprayer. Maybe you have to filter it though, so it doesn't clog your sprayer. But filter that hey. water into a sprayer and walk around your yard with a sprayer with some and hitting all your I've mulch got area. Three Kosamoy good for prints. Maybe actually. Do you think you could do I that? Mean, Put it down with this. I don't know. I don't know if Cubensis will work. I don't know if Cubensis. You'd have to. What are you gonna spray it on? You need kind of like um, a manure poop. based. I'll go get the poop. There you go. I'll go spray all the fucking fields too. And just keep on coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, girl, buddy. Inoculate the world. We spraying everything. <laughs> It might work if you made a pile of shit in a wood line somewhere and just sprayed it with spores. It might eventually pop. But grain, gr inoculated grain would work better. I'm going to put some out there. Well, it's going to be hot, really hot coming up. So I'm going to wait until that heat dies down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You're going to need the moisture. And or uh, put a sprinkler out there. Because, like, it rained so hard up here. It, like, flooded. So it's just been, for the last three days, mushroom wonderland like i made it 150 fucking yards the other day not even bro and it took me an hour and a half because there were just so many different mushrooms i'd never seen before that i was trying to learn and, and identify and wow. you, know, you know get eaten by mosquitoes and shit and i'm just like i look up i'm like oh my god this fucking far like it was pretty that's bad. great dude i wish i had i'm sure i have it back in tennessee i just never paid attention to it when i was younger same here, you know, As like a child. turkey tails. And now, like, every time I see a birch tree, I'm searching, right? And there's birches all over this place. So I think I did find a big old knot of chaga. So I hope I did. Um, I'm going to go. I don't know where the fuck. It's 30 acres, bro. You get lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got lost my first night, dude. And I look down, I got, like, 5% on my phone left. I'm like, fuck, here we go. First night out <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. Fucking it's a lot better than the city. Hell yeah, dude. It's like um, something lifted off your shoulders. Like, attention's going, right? Yeah. It's not like constant chaos. Because when I'm in the city, bro, there's a lot of fucking retards and people <laughs> that, mean, that mean harm, that mean no good, or... Maybe they don't mean no harm, but There's they're a lot of just, predators out there, man. They're not really smart either, and they their their stupidity can cause harm. Also, not and also, there's evil people. But Ignorance I'm always on the, I'm always on a fucking swivel, like on constant guard in the city because of that shit. Yeah, well, I feel like I'll, and you get out the city, that shit goes away, bro. Ain't nobody trying to fuck with you. It's like when you realize you're holding your breath for a long time. That's what it felt like. Yep. Have That's you ever exactly noticed right. that, like, whenever you start getting that, like, um, when when you're in a good trip or whatever, and you start getting that bad trip feeling, and you start getting that anxious and that that tightening in your chest, and then all of a sudden you just breathe and it's all good. I I wonder if that's like me forgetting to breathe. You know what I mean? Is my body going into stress mode? You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden I just and it's like everything's fine. I don't know, but right, right. I catch myself doing like half, like quarter breaths or maybe 10% instead of like taking deep breaths. That's why a lot of the trips are teaching me, like doing a lot of breathing work and focusing on Peter, what's up? And the, especially the five grammars, it really like a lot of breathing work in those out mouth and really feeling my lungs cool. I really want to start some, doing that kind which of I don't, on my come up. Mm -hmm. which I don't think I do during the day, right? I don't think I take full breaths all the time during the day. I'm taking like, what you might use half, 10% of your lung power, actually, if you're just sitting there, especially if you're sitting there spaced out on like a video game or a fucking computer or something, just you're not paying attention how shallow you actually are breathing. And I've been paying, catching myself more doing so. Meditation definitely helps for me on that because especially the guided ones that I do is because it's like you don't think about how much of your body is tensed up throughout the day. You know what I mean? Like when they tell you to relax your jaw, you're like, oh shit, how long have I had my jaw clenched? 
you know, and, and a lot of these other things. So nice, thanks, Peter. Message a bunch of people to see if we can jump on right on. We're just recapping, having a good time. Glad to be reminiscence. Back <laughs> yeah. I got the puppies the going. It is a trip, like when. I don't know. So there are like extended meditation periods. Like if you've ever done like a multiple hour one, you kind of lose track of time. You lose track of, you kind of do that breakthrough without the visuals, you know, uh, you know, you ever done... the current space and time, which your body is occupying. You're able to transcend that. And I don't know, it's just... have you been in a float tank before? No, nah, but I'd love to. I would love to. same. I want to do it sober, tripping, and I want to take a blast of DMT. No, I can't do the DMT in there because I might go under or something. Fucking yeah, I'd be afraid to drown. Dream. I'd be in the back of my head it's like I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> this isn't the DMT that you just smoked. It's the one releasing out of your brain because you're dying. <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. DMT is awesome. I think I was just talking to somebody about that like two days ago. Yeah. Breathing is the trip. That's right. There was a post the other day and they were like, uh, oh man, it was something like that. I can't remember. Maybe I have it. Let's see. Yeah. So, what you got planned coming up? You got oh, any, uh, any new any new genetics? So we have a bunch of uh, cultures in the progress, or it's like they're started and cooking, they're doing their thingy, they're growing. They should like the fruity spores should have more varieties coming up soon. Hoping within twenty, maybe thirty days, we'll probably have a handful more because they're starting to run low, right? And that's another thing is. The website homie i need to dedicate a, some time to this and figure out this website and get those photos up there for everybody too in descriptions we don't have that's the bummer part about the website right now so if you do go to pretty sports we don't have the pictures and descriptions of every uh, variety up which that is needed to be done son you know what i'm saying we need to get on that i have the pictures we just gotta get them up. And that takes time. It takes time. Uh, I, ne I never learned how to do website editing. So, website editing is a. Uh, yeah, it's something I gotta learn. I've got I'm a couple slightly things I gotta, decent. I gotta do the whole like editing uh, video stuff now that there's so much stuff to fucking document out here. Like, I gotta. I made some rice. I got to do IMO collections. There's just, I got to make FPJs. I got to make FFJs. I got to make some JLF. I got fucking compost. Make, I got so lots of stuff to do. You know what I mean? So, Regenerate, like, so this is like regenerative farming type deal, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, kind of some permaculture. Um, he wants to do food forest, which is really cool. So like orchard, citrus, fruit, um, nuts and stuff like that. And it's he, his plan is kind of have like a cultural retreat center, right? For people that mm -hmm. get stuck in the mundane and they want to be able to come back and reconnect and have, like I said, since it's 30 acres, you can have different spots all over for like a live band over here. You can have a gazebo over here with the stars open wow. to eat. You know, you can have a play over there in this area. So, no, that's then, nice. Yeah, but then you got to think about all the, I mean, it's woodland, it's 30 acres of, of just invasive thorns and prickers but in there there's uh native grapes you know what i mean there's concord grapes there's uh a tree that smells ridiculously similar similar to sassafras so i'm on the hunt <laughs> you know what i mean uh <laughs> <laughs> so it's um it's i'm doing website data entry there you go peter's yeah peter's, uh, it takes web time guru. peter's a web guru we might be able to help you out James asks, any tips or rituals for recovering the following day after a healthy macro dose? Uh, 
I think the day of, like doing it, is more important to me than the day after. Because I do it. Day before, day of, and. Okay, there you go, yeah. You should definitely be clean before doing it. Then I do them in the mornings mostly at 10 a.m. So that evening is very important for me to have fruit. I like fruit on this last one. It kind of opened my eyes and said I need to have fruit more, have more fruit available. And then uh, closer to sundown, sunset, right? And I always eat healthy anyway. So, but like sunset after the day of the trip, I'd like to maybe have some rice and fish, something clean and clean and plain, something like that. And the day after, it's just a normal kind of day for me, man. It's just a bunch of water. Then maybe a couple of drinks of alcohol and late that evening, then I'll have a good meal and I'll just eat good meals. Cause I, I eat asparagus, potatoes, meats, broccoli. I eat just normal foods. You don't try to eat a bunch of crap. And then uh, actually a bunch of friends are now all doing this keto thing. And everybody's trying this out. So, <laughs> But I always, that's my normal thing anyways, just potatoes, meats, vegetables. So I don't like the taste of mushrooms, so I've been training myself to eat them. I'll put them in foods where it's hard to notice the texture of them because that's what gets me with like cooked mushrooms is the texture. Yes, so, they gotta be cooked. They, have to, they can't be all slimy and nasty. Yeah. 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 The uh, tips and rituals. So yeah, fruits, man. Have a theracane if you're going to do a big macro dose. I got. You're gonna take though. a, or you're gonna take a big, super big hit of acid. Have a Theracane. I don't have one in here. But how can you even like? Gnarly. How can you even faced out on some <laughs> man? I'm excited actually. That'd be fun. <laughs> a Theracane? You mean? My back is so knotted and jacked up, bro. Like, oh man. All right, I gotta get. I'll get you one out there, dude. You'll fall in love, but you'll walk around the yard with this guy for a you week. You showed me what it is. I'm like, man, I can go try to make them. <laughs> They're badass, though. And, of WMG. course, everybody, when taking stuff, always test, test, test. Funk Police is a great company. Dance Safe is out there, especially today. That's why you should grow your own and synthesize your own. <laughs> allegedly but. yeah you should grow your own be connected to your medicine that's what i say and that could be part of the ritual right like i have it's mm -hmm. been nice eating my own stuff lately right like it's uh it's a different experience kind of but <clears throat> and then eating fresh that's completely different it's a completely different experience to like I feel like the last few trips have changed my diet. It's changed my taste buds. It's made things taste not as good. And so you don't want to eat them. Maybe something that wasn't so good for you. It's kind of like off-putting a taste now in my mouth. And I don't want to... It kind of helped me clean my diet up even a little bit more, honestly. Yeah, I've been... Uh, I noticed... My last good trip, I noticed the unhealthy weight loss that I've had and stuff like that it would just be a stress and trying to do too much instead of doing what my body needs. And that will lead me to be able to be more productive. You know what I mean? So that's something that I definitely been working on. And uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing that you can reach inside. You know, it, it's harder to do that when it's go, 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 go. You know what I mean? I've been pulling this way for, I thought I was going to Michigan and then, you know, this and then that, you know, and uh, life has been tumultuous for sure. So it's good to have a broad tool bag per se, right? That's the hard part is making time for that tool bag because everybody is on the go. And then we live in a go, go, go world. Especially being in like the heart of Chicago, you know what I mean? Like, it was just... Everybody's so busy. Shoot, everything's so crazily priced. You got to have everybody in the household needs a job. Really? 
too. Yeah, y'all should be at work all the time. <laughs> um, you doing anything with the Enigmas right now? You still got those running or? Yep, we got them going. The cultures are coming up, so people should be able to get syringes of that. And that'd be the one of the ones we'd probably breed with. Try to breed with with Enigma, one of the Caspers, Jack Frost, like an albino penis envy Enigma type variety, one of those smorgasbords. I want to work with the ghost just because it's a little. Ghost. That's a potent one, Yeti. Those are all in the top five or so of potencies. And that's what I probably guess we'd, uh, she's going to, Lady Hyphy will start off with. with cool. Those. Does she have her favorites that she likes working with or eating or? Mm, Enigma's super hard and tough, <laughs> but I don't know. That'd be a question for her. We'll have to get her on here, actually. Yeah, she's sure. tied up. She's tied up at a birthday party this evening. I'd probably get her on, but. Woo-hoo. Start getting her on and uh, start talking yeah. genetics, man. Hell yeah. I keep on forgetting to ask uh, Abolish to come on. He's got his Abolish Mycology. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll get him on one day. Cheers, Justin. What's up? What up? That was um, Abolish uh, Peter. Abolish Genetics. What's his, uh, Abolish, what's your IG? He says like three of them, so I can't remember which one's which. He's got like, Abolish Mycology, Abolish, abolish Farms, Abolish Farms, maybe. I can't remember. I gotta look it up. But yeah, Peter said he reached out to, uh, I don't want to say it over the air, just get anybody's hopes up or anything. Pretty big name, but kind of cool. Embolish nice. Productions. JMF. That was uh, the one I tried from Green Table. I liked it. It was nice. It was a perfect micro for me, honestly. I got rid of my brain fog. The Jedi. And it, yeah, and it, it slowed my ADD ass down. So that was always nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Reading chat action. I hear that, man. I have a backup page, but other than that, I don't ever go to it. They don't I got, I got so many strikes on my page, I'm lucky I still got it. I just started I'm able to go live again. They banned me for a whole month this time. For doing lives or are you putting videos up? Yeah, going live. I didn't even know why. I wasn't even going live a lot then. <laughs> but every time I try, I was like, I can't go live. Yeah, yeah. Justin, uh, let's get these enigmas in my jar all whipped up, everybody, and see if we can't cut that. You got anything fruiting right now? Yep, yep. Actually, it just reminded me. Someone asked about the ODs, the old dirties. I like to pick the old dirties when the veil opens up, and it look it'll separate. Um, I can't say that on the air. It'll separate from the. Sure you can. The stem. The stipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stem. <laughs> you say whatever you want, bro. It's I don't know, <laughs> way, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we got some good things growing, man. We got, always got the old dirties and the Caspers. I really want to keep Caspers. the Caspers. That's my next one. I'm going to take uh, five or probably five of those. You should step I still up seven, do. I feel like. Uh, I want to try to keep uh, it same go, across the board. Back. You should go back and revisit the first one you took and do seven. Well, here's the, I want to go down the line, right? Go down the line, and now the next one is Casper, and I think it should be the same, 5, 10, to compare it to the 5, 10 of the previous, all dirties. So that way I can kind of 
base it. Are, are you maybe think anything else into it? Not right no. No demers no more. I'm gonna yeah, explore right. these worlds on the I'm gonna break them down this way. I like it though. I like the baseline. So you know what the baseline is for each one at that high mm -hmm. brand. Because I know okay, after doing this, right? Old dirties. So next time I do them, I'll either do fifteen or twenty or I'll do the in between like eight. You know, go really. I'll either because I won't do five again. I'll keep it at eight. Is the lowest I'll probably do on the old dirties, and then I'll the most. I'll I'll, I'll try to push to twenty if I go froggy one day. You know, after I get through a couple more strains and break it down, maybe not. Maybe I fall in love with uh, fucking Casper or something, because they look potent. They look like they'll hurt you. They are blue. They are one of the bluest mushrooms I've ever grown. Now that's psilocin, right? Psilocybin bruising. It's a psilocybin Actually, it's. I or... believe both compounds will bruise. The bluing is psilocin psilocybin compounds showing itself, and not so many words. That's what's happening. It bruises blue. Well, what scientific? Anything got anybody in chat got something growing they want to come show? You got any flushes coming up? Got any any uh? Inoculations looking good and healthy. Uh, just let us know. We'll throw a link out there. You can jump on up. We'd love to check out your stuff. Or you can send pictures to either one of us on IG. Uh, Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you have that compost, that raised bed outdoors compost you got going. I'd love if you can get some pictures of that if you're Bro, in chat I, listening. Yeah. I got to make a. Uh, a run to the cow shitters. They were literally right down the road. When I ran my Take bike a wheelbarrow. I mean, Take a, a wheelbarrow. Road. That'd be a long ass wheelbarrow, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to tie like a wagon to my bike or something. <laughs> I'm trying to find a car, bro. They got this old Ford Ranger. Uh, I want to I go ask the people, like, hey, will you take, you know, take a little something, something for it? <laughs> God damn Ford Ranger. That'd be a good little field truck. You know, you can throw That's some stuff in the back, did. beat her up. We got to go pick up all that Coast of Maine stuff. Big shout out to them. Thanks, Peter. We got all sorts of good stuff coming for the farm. Uh, yeah. It's fun. I picked out a lot of uh, stuff for... Uh, late planting so i had to do some research on late planting and stuff like that to do so carrots yeah we're yep. in carrots okay uh, okay a bit of um, more peas radish some chad cucumber Brussels sprout broccoli More carrots and some sweet peas. So that's what I've gotten so far out of out of there to do for some late season. That still sounds like a lot of work, though. Fuck yeah, bro. That's on top of a uh, fucking clearing invasive thorn branches that get this thick, man. It's Those briars? You talking about them briars? Them damn briars, bro. They bite you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm fucking it's like samurai <laughs> fucking things on those things, dude. It's terrible. Hell yeah, that shit will shut you down quick. You don't want to walk no farther. That, hey, but look, like, so you got to have on mad layers, but then it's like a million degrees outside, and you got, yeah, it's fucking. I'd rather be doing that than anything else right now. I'll tell you what. True. Working so outside, to not too shabby. And fucking watching people use meth pipes as microphones. <clears throat> Concrete jungle, baby. <laughs> that should eat people up. So. Mm. Machete says ghetto hippie. Have you that ever? Machete. Man, they got machetes on the fucking vines. <laughs> They'd be sword fighting if I was trying to use a machete in there with those thorns. 
<laughs> have you ever done the Walla Walla Gong? Any type of Australian varieties, Tanazi? I just heard of this one. I don't know where we saw that at. Somebody had it on a list. At the yeah. show, at the psychedelic, I think it's at the psychedelic show. One of the uh, places had it on the list. I don't know if we chose it. We chose it because we bought a few from them. They bought a few from us, and we kind of went back and forth. So we have some of their genetics. But again, we gotta get Lady Hyphy on. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. I, I think it'd be fun. I'll make I'd it love happen. To chop it up, man, and hear her story and all that. I loved hearing her on. Uh, you will Adam Dunshaw. Adam. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. We'll I'm get her on, that. dude. Too easy. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of um mycologists uh that I enjoy following, like females and stuff like that that are killing it. You know what I mean? Um males too, but like it's just nice to have a, a female perspective sometimes. Uh, it is. Because it, it is. wasn't I don't know where when I how I grew up and what I participated in and shit like that. Like it wasn't the females out in nature and stuff like that or anything like that. You know, we were all fucking around, fucking around. So city life's different, mm -hmm. man. And uh, it's nice being out here. I tell you what, <laughs> little shops of spores is where I got it. I want to. I grew up in Georgia, and I didn't even know about this. Wonder if that's a new thing. I grew up in the, just north of it, Tennessee, and I didn't never heard of it either. I love Tennessee, bro. If they if they would go to where I wouldn't have to work, look over my shoulder growing, I wouldn't mind living down there. That's about the only place in the south I wouldn't mind living. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a little moving back. It's slow, you know what I mean, but. I wouldn't mind moving back. The mountains are beautiful. Weather's nice. People are pretty friendly if you don't go into the hill, people. That's all right. That's my people. <laughs> oh, you lived, you lived with it. I lived Jesus, at the foothills. Jesus, when, you, when, they get, when you get them signs in the woods. <laughs> Jesus I know some spots. I know some yeah. bad spots. You know, some people can't go. Yeah, bro. For sure. But well, yeah, I grew up at the foothills of the Appalachia, right there. Oh shit! Basically, at at the Georgia Tennessee line, dude. I could be called a North Georgia boy. If you want to okay. fight? <laughs> I was born on the border of Alabama and Georgia, Columbus, Georgia, and um, Phoenix, City. Yeah, none of us like each other. All rivals. <laughs> this all comes down to football, really, in the South. Hey. That's all it yeah, is. Bro. And, <laughs> and you know what? That's crazy because it's like, yeah. Like Going on a night walk. With Rockefeller, bro. That's badass. Oh, that'd badass. be cool at the festival. That is a, uh, I just don't, yeah, it's a, a, a talent to be able to call out all these Varieties of species and whatever mushrooms. Yeah. Like, oh, I know it's so cool. The knowledge like, is amazing. Learning if it's a sapotrophic or a fucking, you know what I mean? Just it, it, it's cool because now, like when I'm walking, I'm not. I look completely different than I used to just walk through somewhere. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking at a piece of wood. Like, oh shit, is that going to mm -hmm. be a, a prime candidate for something growing off of it? And I'm finding turkey tails all over the place and uh, starting. And I'm seeing, like, these tiny little fucking mushrooms that are fully developed, like, this big on pieces of wood. You know what I mean? That I would have never seen before if I didn't right. hear people talking about it in the show. Um, it's just. Yeah. Uh, it's a that's much what I was meaning. more aware life. Right? Like, I noticed not only that, right? Like, I noticed that. In everyday life, too, I'm very aware of people. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so that's why I wouldn't mind moving back to Tennessee because I know that I visit my grandparents or whatever, and I notice them when I've been, like you're saying, you don't notice this as a child growing up, you don't pay attention to that. 
humongous reishi fucking mushroom growing in your grandmother's front yard that she says has been growing there for fucking 40 years since they moved there and you yeah, yeah no you're just now finding out that you're 30 something years old Shit. go to a field it's been there pretty caps everywhere that it's been there the whole there time for fucking, yeah. <laughs> what a cool mm-hmm. i want to go back to georgia because they got that allegedly there are these mushrooms that only come up uh at like a month or two out of the year right but they said those spores came from australia during a hurricane and you could eat those fresh and get pretty fucked up. Are they Cub- yeah. Cubensis ones or something? Are you talking yeah, some yeah, rare, some rare type? I, I was fucking like 16, 17 around that time. So I didn't know much about shit. I just knew if you eat this, you get fucked up. <laughs> 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 I want to get Joey Santiori. I think I said it right. I'd love to get him and uh, Alan Rockefeller on and and jam. That dude looks like he's always on the road. Uh, always. Santiori. Always. Mm. You can go find him on uh, Potent Ponics. He did a couple episodes with Potent Ponics. He did one with the O Show. Oh, yeah. The O Channel. Oh, yeah, yeah we got one of them. I got to go watch that. With embracing organics with Joey, he's a fucking riot. There should be. I think there was one with Alan Rock and Feather too. I don't know if yeah. that was a Dirtman Dan one or not. Can't remember. It's been so long, dude. Been doing podcasts for a while. Last time I talked to Alan, it was before he, he was just about to leave for uh, New Zealand. How fun would that be, dude? That's where they That'd filmed Lord of the Rings freaking. and shit. New Zealand would be beautiful. Be beautiful. Hell yeah. Oh. So you got uh, plans this week? What's popping? Shit, you see it. Lots of work. Lots of gardening. I gotta find Lots a job. Gardening. I gotta find a car. Anybody got a car for 5K? Let me know. I just need something to get into work and shit. Uh, yeah. Mm. Let me know. There you go. New, new steps, baby. It's about what we do here. Work every day. Get these kids out to it. people. Get it done, you know? Mm-hmm. Got, uh... Speaking of kids, where can they get it? Dog and Dog Gardens. I'll pull it up right now for you. Where can they go find and some genetics? So, that's part of the deal with if you go to Dog and Dog Gardens. And you buy from there. What's the price since you're pulling it up? Ninety-five. Ninety-five. That's link to that's, Daga. I'll pull up the kit on Daga for you. Go to accessories, and you're gonna. So that's what you'll pay. If, that's what you'll pay if you go to my website, right? But the deal with if you buy it from Daga dot Gardens, you're gonna get a free syringe. You get your genetics in that kit for free. So, I don't know what's on the. I think we had uh, Co Sam Wee's, is what the free syringe, syringe has been. So, the free syringe will be what we pretty much have uh, on deck. It won't be the Co Sam Wee. And it's not corn no more. We have rye berries. Which yeah, we can update what, that man, picture. That Sam we sure was uh, potent. Yeah, that's one of the ones we're going to have to uh, bring back to life. We kind of ran it down to where I've we didn't got, have it no more. I've got spore prints for you. You got three of them if you like them. Uh, I got them already. I've already got grain. I've already got it going. But uh, yeah, that's the benefits of the. Dog and Dog Gardens, you get your genetics for free, as opposed to the website. You gotta go to Fruity Spores and pay extra, because it comes from two different places and all this, you know, loopholes that we gotta get around. Speaking of Fruity Spores, why don't we go take a look over there? Fruity Spores. Fruity Spores. Nope, we wanna show the screen. You see it? Yes, Georgia Grow Guy. That rye berry is out. 
I'll have to get with Peter and we'll change that picture. It is rye berries. Corn is out, I mean. There's no more corn. All righty, that's what we got available right now. Yep, yep. We're running kind of oh, low yeah. on the stock. So the uh, Psychedelic Science Show really about cleaned us out, man. So we were kind of we're kind of recovering and still taking like 90 days to recover, but the process is already underway. Yes. So what's your process of taking a, a swab? You go in a sterile environment, open it, swab it, right back in there into another sterile environment. Right. I just open the pack, swab it, and then slide her back in. Wham, bam. What's the illusion weaver? That sounds nice. Illusion weaver is, I want to say that's TTK, the poo god of Colorado. I mean, not actually, they have a poo god of Colorado, but the TTK is like the poo god original on IG. That's actually where we get our manure. We source our manure from poo god, or poo god original, who's in Texas, and he's got all these exotic animals he's available the manures and that's his uh, strain illusion weaver he made that up i do believe it was either him or doc's dank seeds i think i don't know it was one of them or they're both in cahoots or something that's pretty cool all right there you go that's a rye berry. that's how the kit will look i'll have to send you a, a new pick pit peter she can update these? that Choo. There's your doo doo. The good stuff. That poo poo. He's got the <laughs> poo on him. There goes your friend, the ISO. Oh, that reminds me. I got to reach out to. Two girls, one cup. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Garden hoe. So hell yeah. Uh anything new on the site? Mm, no, nothing on these sites here, man. I haven't updated anything but the Now I've been here in Fruity Sports is Fruity Sports is the one that we're gonna need the most updating on right now. Hell yeah. I've heard now that a lot of people are saying uh Especially with the smaller totes, leave it alone. Until it's ready to harvest. You know, I'm seeing better is unless you need to mist it, but I mean like theoretically, unless you have like a super airtight container, you know what I mean? You're gonna get enough FAE to get your first flush. And then from there, you'd get a really good after that harvest, you know what I mean, your first flush. Right. Uh so it depends. Uh, so I have uh, started a fan, so I felt like there was no air movement in the room. So I put a f box fan in the corner of the room and turn it on low. And I can't, I'll walk in there th throughout the day and turn it off and on. I don't let it run overnight. Because uh, the first time I did, I let it run all night and stuff, and I noticed that that little bit of air movement started to dry the sidewalls out on a few totes. And it caused me to open them and have to mist the tote walls and the lid. So maybe if you have a lot of air movement around, there could be a possibility where yeah. you do have to mist. And so re not, not your substrate, but re-wet the side of your walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray the, the top and the sides, right? Yeah. Uh, I There's a basement here, and it's nice and humid all the time. So... I'm thinking about set, setting up a tent down there since I'm not going to be using them here. I'm doing all I'm doing all greenhouses here. That's going to be fun. Hell yeah! With my cannabis, but for the tents, yeah, that'd be decent. To, uh, set up a tent down there. You know what I mean? And and just like I'd obviously have to get a purifier for the air for the inside of the tent. I will. Um, if you did all totes, I wouldn't think so. 
I wouldn't think so. You just have to regulate temperatures. But you still have no. to replace that air every once in a while. When it's a tin, if you're in, no in the in the tote, or are you trying to grow? Are you trying to try, are you trying to grow a bunch of totes in a greenhouse? Uh, yeah, I'm throwing up as many racks. Uh, okay, so the whole thing, yeah, is going to have to be misters and wet, supersonic. Yeah, yeah, you're doing yeah. It, yes. You hear that, Peter? Peter, get people on the phone. <laughs> get people on the phone, Peter. We need misters go, and go ahead and copy some spotters. guys. I got some IGs. I got an IG account. You can copy this guy. This dude's knocking it out the park, bro. I the the fungi boys. Oh, yes. they're killing it, bro. They're they killing got like, it. Ooh, <laughs> that's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. That is a lot of fucking work. Cody Rose. Um, if you do stack the personal fables on top of each other, you could actually prevent a good FA. That could, yeah, that could stop and prevent it. Peter, we need we need foggers and uh, humidifiers for uh, mushroom tents. Or just well, they make what I've seen. Five that we can use. What I've seen is the uh, subsonic totes, right? So they make like the big yellow lidded black totes. Yeah, and it has the wire or the hose that goes on top and. Midwest There's road. tubing, yeah. tubing that comes out. So you can bend it this way too or that much. way. It is a lot. It's a lot, dude. That's too many. Too many things can go wrong. You know what I mean? That's just like. Well, it uh, depends on how big. How big is the tent? Well, not that kind of fogger, Peter. Uh, yeah, yeah. There so subsonic yeah. diffusers, yeah. Sonic diffusers, those little misters, yeah. Low hood too, though. While we're at it. <laughs> yeah, you got. If you're gonna do massive growing like that, you would need yeah, to I guess invest in a flow hood. You know? If you flow hood, that way you can do your own grains and inoculate what you need Why for your uh, setup. You're breaking up. Say again. Our raspberries better than dingleberries. Yeah, depending on who the dingleberry's coming from. Mm. Maybe a cow dingleberry would be fire. Yeah. We'll link later. Will do, Peter. Thank you. You just got to teach me how to talk good. And I'll do all <laughs> the emails for you. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> My cats are loving it down here. Or up here. Over here. They probably feel it too. They're not living in an apartment above people, and the, you know. Yeah, dude. Straight. My saber tooth got uh, found a crayfish, crawfish, mm -hmm. uh, the first day we were here. So that was dude, fun video. I saw that. Yeah, like who who knows if uh, he'd ever seen one before? He sure as hell didn't look like he'd ever seen one. He's like, what the hell is this thing? It's, isn't that funny how do or they know what to do? So I saw, I showed the wife a video of, uh, this dude was shooting a video of like a rattlesnake and another, it looked like a Doberman pincher, runs right past it, sees the snake, turns back around, runs up immediately, does like three big shakes and launches that motherfucking snake like true 20 feet out. Didn't that. hit the dog at all. It's like this dog knew what to fucking do. And it's I just mean, some type of instinct, right? Snakes. Like they have like, it's only like a 0. 0.3 difference in that time reaction. But that 0. 0.3 gets us safe every single time, bro. It's crazy. They just get up like right in front of that snake's face. And then right when it. That's, that's that. I've seen, yeah. cause I've seen my uh, wolf pups do this a few times, kill some stuff. And it's a grab and it's just one, two. <laughs> Yep. It's not like a, it's not like a uh, back and yeah, forth. It's just, a, neck, it's a shoot, shoot, and he throws it to the fucking ground. If they're, if they're, if they're doing this, they're trying to rip. They're not trying, they're not trying to do that. That's just a mm -hmm. type thing, you know? Crazy. But uh, uh, I've always, I'm curious what my pups would do with the snake is why I say that too. But your dog, your uh, cats know what to do with this crawfish. <laughs> they just left it alone at the end of the day. He was like, no, I don't so, want to smoke. <laughs> healthy green, healthy green. I 
I'm not saying okay, it's not it's gonna mess everything up if you do stack the personal fables. I should probably actually know this. Should I, I saw uh, my next runs. I'm gonna stack them and see. I've I've honestly because I don't know. Just I'm just from it. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing that it's gonna stop the airflow a little bit, but these might be perfectly fine stacking, which I should actually. I'm gonna do a couple of runs with it and see if. See if I can tell any difference. See if I can see anything happen. But if you're already uh, stacking it, if you're stacking them and you're getting good uh, yields and stuff, shoot me or shoot, uh, excuse me, shoot me some pictures, and let's see this. Let's do it. I need data to, points. Ooh, hey, I got. I left all. I just didn't want to bring a big ass five gallon bucket full of cocoa and shit. You know, so. Mmm, cocoa. Yeah, I got left. So now I got to go get a cocoa block and I got to, I'm going to make that CBG, I think. CBG. Oh, can, well, can, can, can I use cow? Have, can I use that? Yeah. I can horse would be that. better. You would, horse would be better, but I don't think there'd be anything. There's I haven't ever ran here. cow. There's horses around here. I'd use horse over that and go, all you got to do is go out to the field, preferably a dry, the drier the better. Okay. And these people are gonna think I'm funny as hell. I can't wait to go have this conversation with these farmers. No, because it wouldn't take a lot. You're talking like I know, but it's just gonna be like, you five gallon bucket. Yeah, I'll pay you for it. <laughs> Grease their palms. I don't know, but yeah, dude. And then you could just make your own. Add it to the cocoa core. I can start blend it in. Up if it works, I'll give you. I'll give you a recipe. Yeah, I'll start sending it to you if it works. You just need dry horse manure, shredded. There we go. We just need we just need a horse. Anybody got a horse they don't like? <laughs> Start closing loops, baby. <laughs> he wants to film you herding some horse poop. <laughs> hey, Peter! I found a GoPro in the barn. He told me it was a three. I didn't even know it was like a GoPro like thirteen now. So. Um, he said he has one. I asked him if I can use it because, man, that's be that's those things are amazing for documenting shit. You just throw it on you while you're going and doing shit. Just get it done. Just like I think that's what Tom Green does, right? Is that what he does? Tom Green's he's out. Yeah, he's out on the fields working a farm or something. I see pictures of. Pretty funny. What if I did a mixture of? Cow and horse. That'd be uh, a good side by side. I don't know of anybody that's done any horse, or well, has sorry, anybody ever sorry. told me why not to use horse? I'm I mean cow. I mean cow. Excuse shit. me. I mean cow. I'm gonna be sending you lots of shit. What's up, hillbilly? Good seeing you, man. That's a good cat right there. I'm pretty sure it'll work for outdoors. Why wouldn't it work for indoors? But I've been told a few times why we use horse. There's something to do with the stomachs or something, but I don't remember. I don't remember the terminology and all this shit. <laughs> but you would yeah, the go to you would think time. the go to you would think right though is a <clears throat> horse or cow because you see a growing cow. When's the last time you seen a mushroom grow of a fucking horse shit? Collective marijuana is still in here. Check this out. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> Raven. Really, you can't really see it glowing, but it glows in the dark. I see the M. See M. Yeah. Hold on. Let me shine the light on it. Let me charge it up. UV. Oh, I got a super good book to read. Peter's brother gave it to me to read. Real World Permaculture for Farmers, Restoration Agriculture. It's going to be a good book. Yes. I like... Uh... Shit. 
I forget that guy's name. There was a farmer that came on Joe Rogan and talked about regenerative farming. Now it's glowing. Big dog. And doing that regenerative farming and talking about it. And it was so interesting. Now you'll be able to find me if I get lost in the dark. As long as you got that balloon tied to your wrist, we'll be fine. Oh, man. What time is it? Nine. It's time for dinner, yo. It's time to go eat. It is. So we got plans for uh, next week. What's up? I should be here next week, man. Next Thursday. Okay, good. I'm going to try to have somebody on with us. If not, we'll we'll jam again. Uh, We're going to start getting some more content pumping around here. I'm getting a little bit more settled down, so... Uh, I've been taking tons of fungus uh, footage and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to get it loaded up and try to do some editing and, and put the real true scientific names in there and uh, try, to, try to make some good, some good content. And uh, I'm excited to talk to – I'll get back on the horn with Rockefeller, see if he's down to still come on and stuff since he's back. And uh, that would be fun. We'll reach out to some other cats. And if you guys ever want to hear from somebody, just – let us know. We'd love to, to chop it up. Um, I'm excited to see some of these new varieties from Mutanazi. Me too, man. See what they do. It seems everything's going good so far. Let's see what we can do with these new ones. Especially uh, very new ones, right? Hell uh, yeah. So uh, when do you think your next fiber is going to be? Whenever it just comes, huh? The next uh, load of syringes? No, nah, the next fiber. fiber oh, fiber, the- fiber. Oh, man. It's within the next 20 days, probably. I'll do five of the Caspers. I'm due for a good one. Really want to see what those do. So I was impressed with what five of the ODs did. So now let me see what. Uh, now, when five- you say surprised. Because I did not think that I would break through or experience any of that. On the, I did because that's the lowest dose I've taken of the lower end of the potencies, right? Peanut all, or old dirty or like penis envy varieties, not on that high end. That's slightly in the middle, probably it's on slightly towards the higher end. But there's ten other ones in front of it, you know. So. To do it on those, I was like, okay, wow. That was impressive, and I got a lot of work done. But I still felt like I needed that eight, eight grammar, probably. It would be nice. Ten was hardcore. Ten hurt. Ten was a uh, – ten would hurt. <laughs> Went for a ride on that one, huh? Yeah, and these were the abort ones, too. So these were like – I'll have to take a picture of a side-by-side. Try to like put it up on Tanasi Gardens or something, I think that has something and show you in. and show you the difference in the potencies. I'm thinking because of how dark and blue these aborts were compared to a normal grow growed out OD. Think about it if they're aborting, they probably just want to pump themselves full. That's what I'm thinking. That's what happened. So maybe there is something to stunting the toe, making an abort after it's grown so far. We stress and let it, for certain results. That's why we need a potency tester, bro, or a little gadget that tests all this levels. And because if you can do the same variety, abort the tote on one of them, and test the potency differences of those. Because like I always see the little the little ones that abort, and they turn blue as fuck. That's how the penis envy was even made. If you listen to uh, Hamilton Fort or Hamilton Pharmacopoeia guy Hamilton Morse. He does a podcast with Richard Gutierrez. And this is basically the guy who made the penis in me, supposedly. Yeah, it's a talk. It's like a, well, it's not even a video, I don't think. It's just an audio. Yeah, it's just audio. But it's him describing what he did and how the penis in became a thing. And he basically describes cloning and abort. I forget what variety he was growing out, but he grew out a variety and it was a 
mutant or it was an abort. Which I know it was an abort. But I don't know if it was a mutant, but it was an abort. It was just small, tiny, and fucking really blue. And he chose it because of that. It was super blue and oh. cloned it, and it became the penis envy. So maybe was, there's something to cloning on a small-ass one like that. Could be. And taking that already. Because, look, if you take a, uh, a mother plant and it's unhealthy or, or it's got shit going on, right, you take a clone. That clone's going to take longer to get to a, a, a healthy plant. You know what I mean? Because those stresses are already present. So yes. I like where this is going. Right. So I'll have to. I'll post. The watch. Look for this week. I'll take a photo. Show you all the guys the, the difference in the color. And it's the same same fucking mushroom. Do you have that stuff? Uh, the drops where you can add it and it'll turn a certain color. And it'll give you a scale. So I do have one. It is from Miralux. Miralux on Instagram. They uh, were at the event and they gave us a... Po or, it's like a color chart tester doohickey. It's kind of like what you were, had earlier, I think. I yeah. think they're similar. Like the bunk police are certain... Uh base acids and stuff like that it'll turn up mm -hmm. color. Jeez. i don't know if people are interested in that i thought about putting them up on the site they Do talked it, to me about it and it's like i mean because you know you're growing good medicine with the well, if you buy from us unless it's you think it's just another part of the science kit to like okay now you grew it now test it or something but i feel like you should trust it, right? I mean, you're trusting me. It's yeah, it but it, it's it still it's like bragging rights. Like, yo, check this out. Like, okay. Then you can also like get a consistency of if you're doing if you're doing controls, right? Where you're introducing a stress or something. Like, is that going to make it stronger? Then okay, so you're saying it show that's what it kind of shows. It's the strength of it. You think? Yeah. Or the okay. amount of the amount of the silicin or psilocybin. Uh, okay, I'm used to testers just saying it's positive or negative for Molly or something, but this one is different. I think you're saying it shows like a scale. Yeah, and so like one will be it'll be dark, and then it'll be lighter or lighter lighter, and however dark it is is that supposed to be. Used? a large amount of the psilocin or psilocybin is present. Yes. Nice, oh, Billy. Have a good night, brother. Do some breathing. Deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. <laughs> All right, well, go get some dinner. I'm going to go get something to eat as well. I'm fucking hungry. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go pick up some wild mushrooms tomorrow and eat them. Hell yeah. Just send some pictures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll be here next week. Um, if you guys want anything talked about, just shoot us a message. Uh, where can they find you, Tanazi? Instagrams. Best spots. Tanazi Gardens V2. Sacred Three Mushrooms. Hit me up. And we got I the websites. You know. Show notes. I'm sorry. I'll Go ahead and put a link. Ah, that's fine. Now, but uh, yeah, that's it. Yes. All right. Uh, you can find me at good old uh, seven one DP zero on IG. If you guys want to uh, hit me up, you can hit me up there. Uh, my email is DP's Mental Breakdown at Gmail dot com. Hit me up over there too. And yeah, much love, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, looking forward to next week. And everybody, don't forget to go to Dog Garden. Get yourself a Sacred Three uh, personal fable kit. You're not going to be disappointed, I promise you. And uh, do some gourmets too. Uh, I'm going to be excited to do these cordyceps and shit like that coming up. So, oh yeah. Cheers. Peace, everybody. In bright, oh, I missed.